I was heading from Kamloops to the Vancouver International Airport to pick up my mom. She was coming to celebrate my graduation from my master's degree. I was one of the passengers. The car was driving on the highway close to a tunnel, and the car lost control. I never ever lost my conscience. My body was curled there. I feel so scared. I try to move my legs. I cannot. You can imagine a car flipping three, four times, and then a prolonged extraction. They identified right away that she wasn't moving her legs and that she had a spine fracture and a spinal cord injury. We accept a lot of transfers from around the province. Probably 60% of the patients that we care for in the spine service come from outside of the Vancouver Coastal Health catchment area. When I arrived at VGH, I keep asking that who will going to pick up my mom. They successfully locate my mom and brought her to me. I was uh, meeting together with her. I told her that don't be worried. I was taken very good care of. She was worried. She cried. <laughs> um. We try to create the optimal environment around the spinal cord for it to recover. And that means surgery in almost all cases to take the pressure off the spinal cord, prevent movement that might injure it even more, take those bone fragments away. We did what's called a posterior instrumentation infusion, and that involves putting screws into the vertebrae and then realigning the vertebrae to allow the fractured fragments to push back and to recreate the canal that the spinal cord and spinal nerves go down. I remember waking up from the surgery. I tried to move, but still there was no feeling in my lower body. When I was told that there will be limitation <laughs> on my mobile ability, I feel pretty sad. I think that my life was changing. It's heading to some direction out of my control. When I did my initial assessment of her, I was hopeful that she would get some nerve recovery, given that she was very early after her injury, but you never really know how much recovery someone will get. My OT and PT inspired me a lot. They never tell me that I do will have the limitation. They always motivate me that I can do more. She was here at GF Strong working with me for two months. As time went on and we worked together, we worked on her strengthening. She worked really hard during her therapy. She had a strength of spirit that allowed her to push through that and look at that as a challenge. She really made a fantastic recovery in a short period of time, given the extent of her injuries. When she left here, Lorraine was able to walk. It's like a re reborn in my life <laughs> when I regain the ability where I can walk on the ground. I was allowed to walk on the ground. It's amazing. It's a happiness right away from bottom to the top of your body. I want to cheer up. I want to tell everybody around me or tell the world that I, I can do it. <laughs> now, I'm very <laughs> active, moving around, not only indoor, but around the city. <laughs> Lorraine, she's very positive, energetic. Um, we all love her. She is definitely very grateful to the team, you know, of the doctors and the nurses, um, anybody who had helped her through the rehab. About two years ago, we did do a fundraising by our staff, and we make the donations to GF Strong, and we are actually going to do it in the, in the coming new year. Philanthropy and donations make a huge, huge difference to the, the kind of work we do, the safety of the work we do, the quality of the work we do. I feel more, more appreciated what I gain from them. And I right now want to pay back. I donate every year right now. Donation is very important. Thank you for transforming healthcare in BC. Thank you for helping us save lives. 感谢您慷慨捐助VGH和UBC医院基金会。